This is a penguin hospital, a place where distressed, injured or orphaned birds come to rehabilitate. In 2014, we admitted 972 penguin chicks. Some at this facility near Cape Town are being nursed back to health. Others are permanent residents. Like Skipper, he'll never return to the wild. He's too tame. The education team are um, training him to be an ambassador bird. <laughs> which I think he'll be amazing at. Up to 10,000 children come through here every year to learn about penguins. Other lessons are carried out over the internet. Is Skipper a boy or a girl? Oh, we don't know yet. We're still, we're still waiting for the lab results to come back and then we'll know if, if Skipper's a boy or a girl. Educating young generations is important because numbers of African penguins are drastically low. There are fewer than 18,000 breeding pairs left in the wild. Overfishing is one of the biggest factors behind their decline. It does mean that the adults have to travel further afield and they have to expend more energy in trying to find enough fish for themselves and their chicks. And when the tanker Treasure sank off South Africa's coast in 2000, 19,000 of the birds were affected. Most of them were saved, but oil spills remain a constant threat. Dyer Island off the West Cape coast is well known as an African penguin colony but tourists these days are more likely to see thousands of seals and cormorants. This island used to be home to hundreds of thousands of the penguins, but a combination of overfishing and oil spills means there's only about 600 breeding pairs left. In February, a new dedicated penguin rehabilitation facility opened up in Hansby, the closest mainland point to Dyer Island. Uh, because with the African penguin at the moment, every bird counts. Aside from rehabilitating birds, penguin research will also be carried out here. The staff say we need to pay more attention to what declining numbers of bird life are telling us. Penguins are an indicator species. So they're the canaries of the sea and we should have taken note a long time ago that there's something seriously wrong. Like so many of the world's endangered species, saving these penguins is a race against time and environmental issues, but most of all, the destruction caused by humans. Erica Wood, Al Jazeera, the Western Cape, South Africa.